What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Detroit Become Human. Last time, as you can see, Marcus came back from the dead. But also, as Kara, we helped Alice find a place to stay for the night. Yeah. <clears throat> we kept her safe. We kept her warm. Um, and so, yeah. Are you ready to keep going? Yeah. Good. November 6th, 2038. It's Connor. <clears throat> 9.56 a.m. Find Amanda. Look at this place. Is that snow? No. Oh. What is it? Look at it. Oh. It's just digital? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, left or right? Left. Across the bridge or through Across the walkway? Across the bridge. <clears throat> Look at this. You ready? Yeah. Hello, Amanda. Connor. It's good to see you. Her hair is awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Traumatized deviancy intervention simulation. Uh, what? Uh, traumatized? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Of Hank. Unpleasant, dysfunctional, intriguing, or unsure? Oh, Hank. Um, intriguing. I think he's irritable <laughs> and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly, adapt, indifferent, or don't know? Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. She didn't like that. Oh. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. for Lieutenant Anderson. <clears throat> Go to reception. Don't cross the line. Oh, right, but that, that line, but this That's line is open. open. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Connected with her? What does that mean? Shot. Like, Just gave our identification. Oh, oh. Yeah. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol. <clears throat> okay. Warning shots were exchanged. Uh, Is that a desk like a hologram? Like, what? I'm so confused. There's things. Oops.
P.O. Wilson. <clears throat> Blank. Look. Famous Detroit painter dies. Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights. Okay, do we want to read this story or see what the other one is? Read this story because I want to know what they say about Carl. <clears throat> Famous Detroit painter dies. Carl Manfred. <clears throat> wow. One of Detroit's brightest lights. Reports of famous artist Carl Manfred's death have been confirmed. The coroners described a fatal cardiac event induced by a stressful domestic situation. Manfred's son, Leo, has asked the media to respect his family's privacy at this difficult time. Yeah, I bet he did. Carl Manfred rose to fame in the 2020s as a figurehead of neo-symbolism with powerful and dark works in the mold of Francis Bacon. Pro proliferate years... Proliferate? Wow. Proliferate years followed until a dark period marked by alcohol and drugs, but the artist had apparently returned to work in recent months. The governor of Detroit expressed her condolences to the family on behalf of the city, describing Manfred as one of Detroit's brightest lights. A collection of Manfred's paintings will be auctioned by his estate in the coming weeks. Uh -huh. <clears throat> And the next story, Ivanov says Niet, Russian president, responds to Warren's warning. Okay, do we want to read that or no? Yes. Following President Warren's demand that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately, President Ivanov of Russia has issued a response. Ivanov branded Warren's comments as megaphone diplomacy, and said U.S. saber-rattling is the number one threat to stability in the region. Christ, what, I want to read this. The Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory, and Ivanov said he would remind President Warren that the United States is subject to U.N. conventions like everybody else. The conflict shows yes, so no sign. Russia. Yeah, but <laughs> if they believe they have claim to the region, which is what they're saying, the conflict shows no sign of abating. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this was the blank desk? No. Ah! Lieutenant Anderson. Nice. I thought it was the blank desk, too. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Time is it? Uh, it's like 10 a.m. It, uh, I don't recall. All right, I guess we sit down. Okay. Explore new office. Okay. Right after we sit down, we stand right back up again. <laughs> Progress, or progress the case. Go see the deviant or other things. Learn about Lieutenant Anderson. Explore his desk and explore the police station. His desk. <clears throat> Knights of the Black Death. Dark heavy metal. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. <laughs> leave a message or hang up. Definitely leave a message. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. <laughs> Ooh, eight clues to analyze. Nice. First, cold coffee traces of 
caffeine. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> a Japanese maple. Asian Shishiga Shishigashira Shonen. Interesting. Okay. Donuts. Calories, 452. Saturated fatty acids, 13 grams. <coughs> cholesterol, 19 milligrams. And carbohydrates, Don't 51 grams. that shit out. No one wants to hear that crap. Uh, no one wants to know how many calories are in those fucking donuts. <laughs> Anti-android slogans. Use your brain, not your android. Android free space. If I wanted to be ignored, I'd talk to my ex-wife. If you're not a bartender, then go away. How's my driving? Call one five five five. I don't care. <laughs> we don't bleed the same color. No more android. Okay. Um, a baseball cap. Detroit baseball cap. Cotton ninety percent. Polyester ten percent. Okay. We have matches. Origin, Jimmy's Bar, Wood, and Phosphorus. <laughs> yep, that's what matches are. <laughs> oh, let's go to the bar. Canine hairs from a St. Bernard dog. Ah. They're pretty curly for a St. Bernard. Well, it's probably from being on his jacket and then being transferred to his chair, mm -hmm. you know? <clears throat> Red Ice Task Force 2027. What does this say? Not, not seen since 2019. Owe me $50, it says on the left. A good cop, it says, pointing to that guy. Real police, pointing to the other guy. Okay. Uh, Multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network Dismantle of 2028. So it only took them a year. Okay. And then it says, Research Lieutenant Anderson. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic, with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars, and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. <clears throat> Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit police force. Wow. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Nice. <clears throat> and... New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Okay. Lieutenant Anderson was a decorated officer. Hey, look, there he it's is. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. Explore the office. Enter and listen in, or explore the office? No. Explore the office. We were not asked to go in there. Okay. That's very rude. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go to the break room or the meeting room? Uh, the meeting room. They're having a meeting in there. Let's go in the breaker. <laughs> Fuck, look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive.
greet, introduce, or ignore? Ignore. <laughs> Never seen an android like you before. Mother. Answer, refuse, or ignore? Ignore. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Just leave. Get a move on! <clears throat> Except refuse, ignore. Ignore. I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> If Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. Yeah, that's not what happened, dude. What happened is you were a fucking jackass. <laughs> Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Do humans dream of mammalian sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise for the depth of thought and originality of this first work. Designed by CyberLife, the AI known as Voltaire analyzed human centers of interest on social networks for several months before its complex algorithms generated the plot of the novel. According to several specialists, it will be very difficult for human authors to compete with these algorithms, and the odds are that most of the books written in the coming years will be the work of artificial intelligence. Wow. Nice. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know about that. <clears throat> Alright, so it says we could explore the office more or check on Hank. Right, were those the options? Let's Go see the Deviant or check on Hank, sorry. Uh, let's check on Hank. Okay. Is he back at his desk? If he's not done. He yeah, he's here. Okay. If he's not, I was going to say, if he's Under not done, we can go see the Deviant, but otherwise... Understanding, pragmatic, or constructive? Uh, constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> partners or positive? Partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. <laughs> oh. Desk or positive? Uh, desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. <clears throat> okay, analyze deviancy files. Right. Or go see the deviant. Yeah, let's uh, analyze the file. Okay. Would that be sitting at our desk, I, I think? Or who knows? Yeah, maybe on the computer. Dog, basketball, music, or anti-androids? Dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? <laughs> What's it to you? Eh. Sumo. I call him Sumo. <laughs> Basketball, music, anti-androids, or Fowler? <clears throat> <clears throat> music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. <laughs> it's full of energy. <laughs> you listen to heavy metal? <laughs> well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like... <laughs> liked it, but he wasn't sure why. 
Basketball, anti-androids, Fowler, or ours. What was the basketball thing? What am I forgetting? We saw the, the basketball uh, cap. The, the hat. Oh, I thought it was a... Uh, okay. I thought that was part of the um, the anti-androids. No. Uh, it's just piece. a baseball cap for a basketball team. Okay. Uh, so, I guess we'll talk about basketball then. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> he didn't like that. Anti-androids, Fowler, ours, or start working. What's Fowler? Fowler, I think, is the guy who just punched us in the gut. Oh. Either that or it's the, the captain that called him into the office. I'm not sure. Okay. But I assume it's the guy who punched us in the gut. Okay. Fuck. Uh, yeah, let's tell him about Fowler, I guess. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Oh, it is the captain. Okay. Yeah. Too long. Oh. Okay. okay. Anti-androids, ours, or start working. Ours? Okay, so... I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? Take a look at these samples yet? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? <sighs> Anti-androids, or start working? Anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> yeah, there is one. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that either. Not a surprise. All right. Start working. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay. Uh, case file. Detroit Police Department. Uh, AL series. Cyberlife AL series. Missing. Case reference. Disappearance. Victim Gordon Lopez. Case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. Case status is open. Involving Android, yes. The plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The Android may have left the home without being ordered to. Hmm. A V-Series, suspect. Case reference, attack. Victim Charles Bell. Case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. It's open, and it does involve an Android. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500 number 234-777-821 model, Android, working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain, situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the Android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The Android remains at large. Mm. <clears throat> Interesting. Cyberlife AP series suspect attack victim Sarah Cornwall case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson open involving an android. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP 700 number 480913802 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight, like actually taking flight or like running away. Because maybe androids could do that. We haven't seen that, but they're so cool. partly robotic, right? So. And missing. Cyberlife WR series. Disappearance victim Floyd Mills. Lieutenant Anderson open involving an android. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. Model WR400 number 641790831. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Oh boy. Uh, unknown series destroyed attempted murder victim Leo Manfred <laughs> case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson case status solved 
Famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness statement attests to the android behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Unknown? Huh. Odd, right? Yeah. Huh. There she is. She is a suspect. Case reference aggression. Victim Todd Williams. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an AX400 model. The android has had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's scan all files. That's the last one. Okay. So let's scan all files. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. That's Kara. <laughs> direct, aggressive, professional, or understanding? Uh, direct. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Wow. Determine to resign the mission or threaten. Resign. I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Wow. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Now you fucked up. <laughs> What Trophy the earned, hell? Know your that is not what I expected those responses to be based on the one word description that we were given. Right. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. I'm mad about that. So we could have done more things in the Zen Garden, it seems. Only two things, but still. But we found Amanda, we talked with Amanda, we arrived at the police station, we found Lieutenant Anderson, or we had to find Lieutenant Anderson. Mm -hmm. Hank arrives, Hank storms out. Uh, <clears throat> we waited for Hank, we explored the station, we talked with Gavin, we read Famous Painter Dies, we read Ivanov Says Niet, we learned about Hank and examined his desk. So there were three or four other things that we could have done, because we could have spoken to the Deviant, we could have, you know, whatever, yeah. we didn't do any of those things. We talked to Hank, we examined the files, we talked about the case. Hank is mad, and it ends with Hank got a lead. 97% of people ended up with Hank got a lead. Nice. So 3% ended up with whatever that is. 50% uh, read the Ivanov one. Only 33% read the Famous Painter Dies one. 27% hmm. of people talked with Gavin. But 93% analyzed his desk or examined his desk. 77% learned about Hank. 99% Hank arrives and then storms out. So... 1% that doesn't happen? Hmm. Hank arrives. Hank storms out. Interesting. Explore the station was 99%. Talk with Gavin was only 27%. Again, I, I think Gavin... Now I think Gavin's the one that punched us in the oh, stomach. Okay. So some of these things might have been if we had gone into the 
um, the meeting with uh, the captain. Some of these other unlockable things. So, uh, I would say... Huh. All right. Yeah, I don't know. This was uh, a lot tamer than some of the other interactions. I mean, we got punched in the gut, but... At the same time, like, it's not as... I mean, it's a problem because we pissed off Hank to no end. Yeah. And there was no reason for it. Like, this is one of the ones where I don't feel good about how this ended up. And I think that if I could go back, I would. Right. And this is really the first one where I really feel like that. Right. Okay. Well, speaking of not wanting to move on... Do you want to move on? <laughs> <laughs> yep. November 6th, 2038. 10.25 a.m. Okay. Back with Kara. Alice, trusted. Watch over Alice. Revive the fire. I could check something on the... Oh, no, we check her. Oh, okay, apparently we're waking her by checking her. Nope, we're not. Okay. <laughs> Weird. All right, so yeah. Uh, revive the fire, and there's a locked thing, which I assume is like, check on what's his name? Ralph or Randy or whatever? Ralph. Yeah. All right. I guess we could fix the fire a little bit. You got it. Oh, R1. Sorry. Find some wood. I wonder if now we get to go upstairs. Oh, read. What the hell? That wasn't there yesterday. Cyber Wildlife. First Android Zoo opens. Okay. Or we can see what the other one is. Let's see what the other one is. <clears throat> Canada. Canada still an android free zone. Wow. Wanna read that? Yeah. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as twenty twenty eight. The Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit androids in the country. As a result, androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an android-free zone. Cool. Okay? Yeah. So, do you care about the other story, or we just move on? <clears throat> um, I think we just move on. You got it. Right, so we gotta find more wood. This is we can look at. Is that? It's an arcade game. Um, so yeah, I think this is where we go upstairs. Oh, revive the fire. It, oh. Change your appearance. Find new clothes. Okay. Just a lot of RA9. <laughs> yeah, that ain't new clothes. Or wood. Bird, watch, money, or leave? Uh, let's look at the dead bird, because why the fuck is it in the kitchen? <laughs> That's a sanitary uh, issue. Okay. We sure did look at it. That was pointless. Yeah. All right, watch. Look at the money, but I don't want to take it. 
So that's Ralph's. Put it back or steal it? Put it back. You got it. Okay. That was a waste of time. How about some fucking wood? Uh, urban farm area. Urban mm. fields. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, what was that? A deer head. Oh. Okay, that's more R99 again. Okay. Why does this suck so bad? So we can't go upstairs, but we can't get anything from down here. Right? Like, what the hell? Okay. Come on. Really? Oh, take. There's wood. Yeah. This wood's not stained. <laughs> Be quieter, the kid's sleeping. Wait till Alice awakes. Okay. Do we go get our clothes changed what while we was, wait? What was to the right? The exit? No. Oh, uh, the, the thing we could read. Oh. The uh, we don't need that. Correct. Okay. Left, straight, right, or kind of slightly to the left? Slightly to the left. Okay. Okay, this is the room that we've been in. We've been in all these rooms, except oh, that one with the have... door closed, technically. It's raining. Still raining out. Okay, nothing in here for us. Let's check the left hand door. Okay. We've been in this room? Oh yeah, we have. Clothes. Oh, good. Let's take it. <laughs> okay, we found human clothes. Now we have to cut our hair. Oh, okay. Like said. Okay. Do a <clears throat> a bang and a bob that'll cover the um the round thing. Hmm. Keep that part. Please don't. Oh god. Crap. Sorry. Did, what? <laughs> My bad. So awkward. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> don't keep the part, please. You know I have no say. It's just doing it. I'm telling her. Ah. Well, she understands, so. Did a very nice job. <laughs> uh, blonde, white, black, or finish? Uh, blonde. Brown, white, black, or finish? In other words, you get to like white. see white. We're doing blonde. I don't want to pick black because I think it's too similar to brown. Uh, finish. Okay. 
Yes, remove that. So we did not do a haircut that covers it. If you can change your appearance like that, can't she just change the way her face looks as well? I don't think so, because it's not a... She can't change the structure. Wow. Right? Oh, we can open this. Yes. Come on. Maybe there's a statue in there as well. Mm. Oh, God. Uh, well. Hmm. Huh. Uh, let's shut it again. Can't do that. <laughs> okay, well, let's go find Alice. Alright, that's all for now. Here you go. Oh, fuck. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> I have no idea. Hank is still warm towards us. Oh. So what do we got here? Most driver saw it at 2.30. Seen at a convenience store. So what's your conclusion, Sherlock? misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. <laughs> humans like burnt meat. <laughs> I Come. do like burnt meat. Come, let's sit down. <laughs> sit or refuse? Oh, gosh. Um, refuse. That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. We will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. Huh. <laughs> it's cute, but it, uh, we need to explain to him that the cops are outside. So refuse still? Yeah. No, Ralph. We're leaving now. Come on, Alice. Okay, Alice likes us better. Oh, okay. The little girl's going nowhere. Oh! Worried, explain, or agree? Explain. Humans don't eat that, Ralph. Wrong! Wow. Humans eat dead animals. I know that. Worried or agree? Uh, worried. You're not going to hurt her, are you? We're friends. Remember? No, Ralph doesn't want to hurt the little girl. He just wants her to eat. That's all. We only have one option. Okay. Okay. We'll eat together. Like a family. <laughs> That's better. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse. Would it? <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Cara. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? Lie or tell the truth. Lie. She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not gonna regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be such a seared the hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead. Eat. Jesus.
ask about the corpse or bluff? Bluff. We're going to stand up now. And we're going to leave. Ralph. No. No, you're not going to leave. Until Ralph says so. Ask about the corpse, threaten, or family. Family. You said you wanted to be like a family. Ralph? Father? Mother? The little girl, remember? The father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Ralph led to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. Ralph is not bad. No. Not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? Shit. I'm surprised it took that long, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Investigate the deviant trail. Oh, shit, we're Connor again. Fuck me. <laughs> uh. Okay. Wait, is that the thing that we can do? Yeah. Peep. Android inside the house. <laughs> I don't want to do this. And the android. AX400, Deviance, Reassure, or Blue Blood? Uh, Blue Blood. There's Blue Blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. AX400, Deviance, or Reassure? Deviance. Are there any other androids here? Other androids. No. Ralph is alone. AX400 or Reassure? Reassure. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. AX400 or scan him? Scan him. Processing LED, signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction, moderate. Mm. Model WR600 Gardener, status reported missing. Burn mark, irreversible skin damage, Probable cause extreme heat. Yeah. What would cause that? Throwing something at him that's on fire? I guess. Or hitting him with a flaming poke, like a, a molten poker, or. Hmm. I don't know. Find source of his stress. So AX400 or look around. Oh, okay. So there's not really anything else we can do. Nope. Okay, fine. AX400. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Yeah, the closer we get to that area, he keeps glancing over there. Yeah. Okay. And that's where his stress level is.
They're over there! Like it was there. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. I did not like controlling two of them at once. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kara and Alice reached the other side. Oh god, I do not want to know what that one was. Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> we missed one... I missed one button push. Or I, I, I missed mashing X enough. Yeah. And uh, it so it made Kara get, like, clipped from behind yeah. slightly. But there were a couple where we pulled Alice out of the path of a car. Yeah. So if I hadn't done that... Fuck. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Connor obeys Hank's orders. Hank orders him not to go. Kara and Alice reach the middle section, reach the other side. Kara and Alice are at the highway... They reach the fence in time, run toward their last known position. Oh, that was Connor. Pursuing her and running toward their last known position. Reaches the fence in time. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, there's a lot to this. Holy shit. We were only 34% completed. There's so much here. That's insane. So we unlocked cutting and coloring our hair and changing our clothes. We went blonde. We removed the LED. We found the corpse in the bathtub. We refused to sit. And then we tried to convince Ralph. Ralph apologized. We were disturbed by Connor. And then we get to Connor. Yeah. All right. What do you think? How do you, how, how do you want to unpack this one? <laughs> Ralph turned out to be an asset. Yeah. He was, you know, crazy as a goddamn loon, but he helped us in the end. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, though. And I'm surprised that Connor didn't, uh, or wasn't given more of an option to focus on what was going on with Ralph as well, because he had proof after scanning him that... He was reported missing. Yeah, but he had to he had to continue the chase because the AX four hundred was their actual mission. Right. Now, do I think the game is going to follow up? Have Connor follow up on Ralph? No, but could he theoretically? Now that she's gotten away again, right? Could he possibly? 
or he could at least report it so that another officer could handle it or something. Right. But, but that definitely, I don't think, would be a high priority thing right now. You know what I mean in terms of like what what just happened. Hmm. But okay, holy crap! Up till now, I'd say like I knew. A, a substantial amount about this game coming in. Not really. But I didn't remember this particular portion of like running across the street. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, my heart's pounding. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a lot easier for me because I just had to watch. <laughs> you had to be in control of it. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I definitely didn't feel in control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see that. But yeah, like like I said, I did not like being both of them at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I uh, can't blame me on that. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, you have to like look at it from Connor's perspective in that Connor doesn't know that Kara didn't attack Todd. Right. All he knows is the file, and the file says she attacked Todd. So if you see uh, an android who you've been told attacked her owner and you see her running with a small child, your incentive should be, we need to save that child. This is a deviant android who attacked its owner, who violently attacked its owner, and is now in possession of a child. Right. Uh, did you notice that he didn't seemingly say anything about his missing child in that fucking file? For the thing that we read, yes, correct. Good point. Good point. So what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. But then regardless, whether it's whether Connor knows it to be Todd's child or not, the deviant android has a human child with her. Right. So like, still not okay. And so from Connor's perspective, he's got to get to her and save the child and or stop her because she's dangerous. So when we went from Kara, where we wanted her to hide and get away to Connor, you have to switch your priorities and be like, oh God, we have to run right. to get to her. And again, Hank respected us more. So like now we're still working our relationship with Hank right. in completing this mission or, or uh, pursuing this case further. But unfortunately, because we are Connor, we are also hurting Kara and Alice, not literally, but, you know, hurting their cause right. in in trying to uh, have them get to a place of safety and a, a place where Alice can, you know, be somewhat comfortable in her life instead of running around in the rain and sleeping in abandoned homes with crazy, whacked-out androids right. who wield knives and try to feed her roadkill. Ugh. God, so gross. Charred fur. <laughs> Uh, it was going to be succulent, okay? Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> definitely was not. Yes. But, you know, uh, of all the bots that I would have wanted to feed me uh, food as a human, I definitely would want the gardener robot to be the <laughs> one... <laughs> to be the one to try to feed me meat. If it were vegetables, maybe. Right. <laughs> But meat? No, I'm good. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> so what'd you think? Amazing. Yeah? Intense? This this ending yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. So now we just saw Kara and Connor. And so, well, we saw Connor and then Kara and then Connor again. So uh, who do you want to see next? Obviously, Marcus. I've been wanting to see what's going on with him. Okay. And so, uh, I guess that means that folks will have to tune in next week to see if that's who we come upon next. As always, I would love people's thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, were you, you know, flinching and cringing as every car passed like I was? Or, uh, or were you confident in my abilities? And either way, I appreciate it. Uh, but, you know... Um, <laughs> Again, if you've played this game before, how did your outcome or what outcome did you get here? Did you, when you played as Connor, did you feel bad for Kara? Or did you look at it from Connor's perspective and try to just do your best to to catch the deviant as, as it turns right, out to right. be? 
What do you think of Connor and Hank? What do you mean? That whole relationship at this point. I, I don't know. Those dialogue options were so fucking weird. I back, just in the pol- back in the office? I just the don't department? understand them. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I don't understand them. <laughs> uh, and that's the first time that I've really felt like that with this game as well. Where the one word description... Was not sufficient was or accurate? Was in no way near what I expected from picking that one. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I think there was one other time where I picked something thinking it was one thing and it was a completely different thing, but it wasn't a terrible thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel that those options were... Okay. All right. Fair enough. So yeah, I would. I would love, as always, I would love people's opinions. I'll say that every time because we mean it every time. Um, but yes, any thoughts that you might have down in the comments below, that's what they're for. We really would appreciate your feedback on uh, anything that you heard or saw or whatever, because um, we want to know what other people think of this game as well. It's not just about us. Keep the conversation going in the comments. Um, Also, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Once you do so, you will get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including the obvious continuation of this series next week. We've got to find out what's next. (laughs) Um, But yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. And for now, from us here at the Geek For All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.